guys, Cindy Otter here with My Arts Endeavors. How are you doing today? Welcome to 2020. And this video, what we're going to do is we're going to work with Gina Aaron's um, design team. So basically what we're going to do is use items of Gina Aaron's on this, this art. Now what I've done is these are just, um, they're 4x4 Da Vinci Pro panels. They're a birch wood painting panel. And I got out four of these and the first thing I did is I put a layer of clear gesso on them. And the reason I did that is because they were very, very uh, slick and I wanted to have a little bit of grit to it. So I put a a coat of clear gesso on them. I made sure that they were all nice and dry. And then I sat here with these two paints. We've got Luca's. Um, this you can get at Jerry's Artorama. I love this paint. This Luca's paint I have a lot of fun with. I used turquoise and I used... Hmm, I think that's... See, it says it right here. I think it's Arctic. Something like that. I think it's like an Arctic blue. But I used these two colors and I just messed around with paint brushes and got my first layer on these. Uh, it kind of looks like clouds, I think. I am not going to do these all as one, but how cool would that be? That would be awesome, wouldn't it? And then just have them all separate. I know that's a project that uh, Gina has done and it turned out stunning. So, But no, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm just sitting them here nice and tight but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of Gina's stencils I'm not sure which ones of these I'm going to use yet but we have this one it's better to put it up actually let me move these out of the way so I have this stencil this is called um four square nine and if you're looking for these stencils you can go ahead to Gina's Etsy shop and she'll have these listed there um here's another one this one is called four square six I may be using elements off this one. Again, I don't know if I'm going to use these all, but these are the ones that caught my eye. This one does not have a name on it, so I'm not really sure. But that's another one of Gina's. Um, this one. This one says four square ten. Move these out of the way. There, yeah, you can see them better. So that's a four square ten. And then I have this one, which is modern atomic. 13. So I'm going to use these and then I also have some of her older stamps that I'm going to use. I don't want to say older, but stamps that she's had. Um, these stamps right here, this is a set. I don't keep them in the original packaging because of the way I store them. This is just a small case that I got, I think, off Amazon. But this is the stamp set. It's got the elephant, it's got the bunny, a few birds, whoops, the giraffe, another birdie and then this little guy here. So this is the stamp set I'm going to use. I'm going to use these stencils um, and let's let's go ahead and create. I am just going to play around um, and see what I come up with. So I really don't have a plan. I just kind of have an idea floating around. All right. I hope you guys enjoy and I will chat with you at the end.
guys, so here they are. I still haven't done anything to little Miss Elef Mr. Elephant or Miss Elephant down here. Um, if you notice, I added a little bit of, it's like a kind of like a glitter glue paint. It's actually glitter paint. This isn't the one. I got this one. Um, it's called Eye Zinc, and it comes in all different colors. This is a really cool color. Actually, you know what? I might put some of this on her ears. Um, yeah, I decided to put a little green along the bottom just because I needed to. And I really like how this little fringe came out. I think it's kind of cute. Um, I'm actually thinking about sending these to my granddaughter, so I know she'll love them. So let me just do a little bit of this iridescent orange on my elephant here. Try to get all the scraps off. Oops, there we go. No. This stuff is amazing. It dries really, really fast. Um, and it also can be used on fabric and it will stay. It will stay washable on fabric, which I thought was really cool. All right, I'll take care of that in a minute. Um, this is the brush I was using. And again, it's just like paint. It's very thick. Um, I wouldn't water it down at all. It is very thick, but I think it's a really cool paint. So... And it's just got that sparkle to it, which is awesome. You can put it on thick. You can put it on thin. Um, you know, it, it's just a great paintable glue. Or paintable, yeah, paintable, what did I say it was? Painted glitter. There you go, paintable glitter. I just think it's kind of cool. Um, I use it, usually in my, my personal journals, I'll mess around with it a little bit. But I've told myself this year I need to start making more. I need to start using it more on camera. Um, it's really neat. It's just a neat. The other thing, too, is when you put this uh, glitter glue on or the glitter paint, uh, you don't get any of that flaking like you do on just regular glitter if you glued it on or whatever. There's none of that flaking. When it's on, it's on. It's permanent. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, and it's not going to flake off on you. So, just some food for thought on this. Again, it's called Eye Zinc. And no, they're not, it's not sponsored, none of that yada yada. Um, I'm just telling you what I think about it and how I like the way it works. There. I wonder if I should do her arms too. I think I will. She's going to be a glitter girl. Let's just do some arms. Let me get some more of this. A little bit on her arms just so she's not left out. So yeah, um, I've actually, you know, I can't say I've, I've um, done a great job as far as, you know, getting these done quick and happy. It didn't work that way. For some reason, I was just struggling with these. Even though I had an idea of how I wanted to lay them out and, you know, what I wanted them to look like, I just, I, I, what it was is I had a struggle getting into my art room and actually being inspired to stay in here and do something. So, and that will hap that's what happens, you know, when you um, have a chronic pain or anything of that matter. And it's, sometimes it's just difficult. It's difficult to go in, come in here and actually sit down and try not to think about that pain. But um, I do it anyways. Um, today after this, I think I'm going to head to the couch because I'm, my hips are really hurting, but you know, whatever. But anyways, I just wanted to, um, show you guys how these turned out. And let me throw this over here. Let me see. Does anything else need some? All right. She's a little glittery. Let's throw a little bit of this glitter on this little flower thing here. Kind of, I'm trying to kind of, um, make them cohesive. I have a big hair. There it is, right there. Um, just trying to make them cohesive a little bit. That's why I put the green on all of them, and that's why I'll be putting this glitter glue on all of them, or glitter paint. For some reason, that one's missing its white. I think I forgot a limb on this little whatever here. Like I said, I really, I like this. You can make it, um, you know, it's it's dimensional. I mean, you can make it, just pile it up and make it really dimensional. Um, it's it's easy to do with this type of a glitter paint. Why don't we 
we got to put on here? Let's take some of this. Where are we going to put it? Let's do it up in the sky a little bit, maybe. Just so we have some glitter. You know, why not? Glitter's good. Just a little glitter here and there so that we get something for, you know, a little bit of interest and it adds a little glitter to it. I don't know if you guys can, I can't get it on the light. There it is, see it? And then there's this one. This one is going to be a lot in the sky because I really don't want to glitter over those. So I'm actually going to take this glitter and just go through the sky with it. Now if you notice, it's see-through because right there's that bird. Like I said, not, you know, it doesn't come off a lot. It's just, oops, well, he got some glitter on him. So it knew a little guy. Yeah, but it's just a lot of fun to play with. And like I said, there's a ton of different colors. Um, it's relatively inexpensive. Um, now I put it on the sky. I want to put some on these skies. Um, it's relatively, I think it's like six, seven, four, or five, five to seven dollars, I think, uh, for a packet of it. And um, like I said, I love the way it works. So. So, just so you guys know, um, this year, yes, I am on Gina's design team. Um, I'm going to work with, you know, some interesting things. This year's design team is totally different than last year. And it's, it's going to be a really fun year. So, I hope you guys will check out the artists. Uh, let's see, who is in it? Myself, uh, Wendy Ewing, which she's wonderful when she gets her work and going. Uh, Margell Shelley. Um, oh my gosh, I can't think. Lisa Swank, she's I love the way she's really big into watercolors, so check her out. And I think that might be it. Myself and Gina, so we're just you know enjoying this year, playing, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. All right, so there they are. I think I'm done. Um, I like them. They're different. But yeah, this is this year's uh, January um, design team for 2020. And for Gina Aaron's design team, I really like them. I think they're cool. Alright guys, so I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, don't forget to, you know, like, share, and subscribe, all that stuff. And don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.